Hello, it's John, VPPR at Epsom Toastmasters. In this video, we're going to talk about co-hosts. Now, in the simple version, you have one person who's in charge of setting up the meeting and running the meeting. But actually, during a meeting, you can assign co-hosts. And a co-host has the ability to move people around, mute and unmute people. And you might find that in your setup, it will be easier to share that responsibility between multiple people. Of course, you're going to have to make sure that you know who's going to do what, which is why in the simple version I just had one person for the job. But if you like the idea of co-hosts, and it may be that the experienced host wants to give somebody else a chance to try and use the system, but be there to control things if, it, if there are any problems, co-hosting could be something for you. And the way we set it up is in the web version of the Zoom app, just like we did with the polling. In fact, it's the question just before the polling. So if I pull up my Zoom profile, and I go to settings again, and make sure I'm in meeting and meeting basic to scroll down for me. If I scroll down a little bit further, I find the polling that we did before, and above that, co-host. So if I enable co-hosting, I'll get the little green button at the top to say it's done. Now what I need to do is to start my meeting. So I'll minimise that and bring up my Zoom app. I'll sign in. And I'll start a new meeting with my personal PIN. Check the audio. 714 is my personal PIN, so that's OK. So I am now running. Of course, I can't do much with co-host when there's nobody else on. So let me join with my little laptop down here. There's my ding dong, so it's joined. I need to mute the audio, otherwise I'm gonna get feedback. Right, so we have now two people, and what I can do to the other person, which I've not renamed as laptop, but if I go to the more icons now, you'll see I've got the ability to make co-host. If I make them co-host rather than host, and it asks if I really want to, they now, on their settings, have the ability to play around. Now let's... Um, Let's turn some video on, otherwise we've got nothing really to see. So there's one video on, and there's another video on. So I can move from one camera to the other by just going pin video. I can't do the spotlight because there's not three of us at the moment. Maybe I should get a third one on so I can go to that degree. There we are. There are now three of me here. What's more scary than three of me? Four of me. And I'll mute yeah. the audio again. OK, so I can now, as host, go uh, laptop spotlight. Our laptop is now spotlight. I can, as co-host, go John drink water spotlight. So you see, I have moved people, and I can mute and unmute as well. I've got somebody talking. Who's talking? Right, mute. So I can send people with the spotlight onto the screen, mute them, take them off the screen, and mute them, put them on the screen as a co-host or a host course it's going to be a bit confusing you need to know which person is doing the moving around but it does mean that you've got two people um, actually you can have 
as many as you like. I think the limit's something silly like 50. But you can, exceptional circumstances may want you to have, I don't know, two or three, but I don't see why you would lot, need lots of people as co-hosts. But if somebody's not sure about what's going on, maybe it's better to just make them the co-host rather than the main host. But remember, the main host needs to be on for the whole meeting, and it's the main host that starts the meeting and closes the meeting. Otherwise, that's it. So, again, I'll stop this video, and if there are any minor issues that people bring up, I'll create a video for those as well. So, thanks for watching.